Main 450. What's going on? Nice view. I'm still at the hospital on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. I got the gun show out. Humid as fuck today. Very hot in Toronto. Yep, lots of news. The World Cup happened earlier today. What else happened? Oh, am I okay? I don't know. How do I look? Thanks for asking. I thought there was any news in the world of sports and stuff. I don't know. How do I look? I didn't get much sleep. My eyebrows are starting to look like fucking Eugene Levy. Look at these things. I think this thing's fucking leaking. I don't know about the test yet. I mean, I'm going to find out. The few that came back are good. The few that came back are good. I'm going to find out more tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going for an MRI, and I think I'm doing that uh, fucking cystocosby thing. That fucking that needle camera in the dick hole thing I got to do. Tube in the dick, as I like to call it. So it's a gorgeous Sunday afternoon, but I'm stuck here in the hospital. I did sneak out. I did sneak out for the to watch the soccer game, though. I did. Not with not with the IV, though. Obviously, I detached that. P tube. No, a cystocopy. That's when they put a camera down your pee hole of your pee pee and they check out like your fucking liver and your kidney. O'Connell, what's up, Barube? So yeah, I met a lot of nice people in this hospital, and a lot of weird people too, a lot of weird fucking nurses, and that was my morning. I ended up getting no sleep. I slept from like 5 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. There's a Tim Hortons attached to this uh, hospital, so I go to grab a coffee. And I mean, they have signs everywhere, right? No smoking on hospital property, no smoking on hospital property. I get it. I get it. And I'm very respectful of my cigarette. Listen, look, I know it's a disgusting habit. I'm very respectable. Anytime I see someone coming, walking by, I move out of the way, especially if it's a kid, you know. Anyways, I wrap around the corner with a coffee and my cigarette, like almost kind of like an alleyway, like where the delivery goes of the hospital. I'm hidden in a fucking corner for fuck's sake. The security guard rolls up to me and he's about 40 feet away in his truck. He goes, sir, Sir, you can't smoke there. Now, there's no one in a radius of 40 feet near me. Okay. And really, I can't smoke there. Who am I bothering right now besides myself? Again, I know it's unhealthy. I've cut down a lot. I shouldn't be smoking at all. But, okay. So you can't smoke anywhere on property. So I, I didn't say nothing to him. I just gave him a look. I grabbed my coffee and I start walking towards the parking lot. And he says to me, you can't smoke in the parking lot either. What? You have to go all the way to the sidewalk, sir. The sidewalk. From where I was standing to the sidewalk is the size of a football field. Now, I didn't say anything to him. I just showed him how much was left of my cigarette. And I said, I'll just finish this and I'll be on my way. And he said, fine. So that was my morning. He got, I got in trouble for smoking in an alleyway of a hospital on a Sunday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning when there's nobody around. That secondhand smoke wasn't killing nobody. Trust me. I can't get over my eyebrows. Fucking Eugene Levy over here. All right. So yeah, I met a lot of people. Uh, my roommates. I would do this in my room, but it's busy. My roommate, old Jamaican guy, he's about 81 years old. He has a lot of visitors. Every day he has visitors. It's packed. It's always packed. Anyways, cute little story I heard. I heard him and his wife arguing this morning. And what they were arguing about on who's going to die first. He's been in there for a week. And so he says to her, he goes, no, 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 I'm dying first. And she goes, no, you're not. You're not dying on me. I'm dying on you. <laughs> and he goes, no, 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 no. I already told you, he says. He goes on to say, I already told you I'm dying first. So that's how much these guys are in love. They don't want to be the second to go. They don't want to be widowed. Right? It was crazy. I couldn't believe my, my ears. Meanwhile, in some relationships, you have people waiting for the next person to die. You know what I mean? 
All right, so I'm going to catch up with those stories on another time. A lot of weird people, a lot of weird fucking nurses. The nurse almost took off my arm taking my blood pressure, but that's a different story for a different fucking day. What else happened today? The World Series of Poker. That finished at about 7, 8 o'clock Eastern. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know that they played throughout the night. They played 12 hours, heads up. First place got $8.8 million. Second place got $5 million. 33-year-old John Sin. John Sin, $8.8 million he went home with today. Life-changing experience, no doubt. They paid, guess what? Ninth place? Ninth place got $1 million. I remember back in the days, first prize was $1 million. Way back in the days. Now that, that's what ninth place gets you in the World Series of Poker in Vegas. $9 million. In other news, the World Cup happened today. I'm going to get to that. Tony Romo, for what it's worth, he has a prediction on the Super Bowl. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Green Bay Packers. Now, if you respect his play calling, his predictions on the play calls during the NFL season, you might, you know, take some of this in consideration. I know I get the Jaguars are a good football team, but you know where they, they lack? Well, besides the obvious quarterback, their coach is a dummy. All he wants to do is eat bologna sandwiches and kiss his wife. That's not a football coach. And if that's what you'd like to do in your spare time, you don't announce it. If you love bologna sandwiches and petting your dogs and kissing your wife. Where do you get off kissing your wife and being public about it? That's another thing I want to talk about. How people make out in public. That's not cool. That's not cool. I hate that shit. A kiss is a kiss. You don't exchange fucking saliva and French kiss in public. You know what I mean? That's a different story for a different day as well. I'm very fatigued with all these pain meds. Like I said, this thing is leaking. I gotta get it fixed. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? The World Cup. Crazy. Both teams to score. That hits in the first half. What? I think in the 25th minute or so. 2-1 at the end of the first half. Croatia played very aggressive, coming out in the second half as well as they needed to be. Great game. French was superior. They deserved it. They won 4-2. Incredible. Should have been 4-1, but Golden's an idiot. I made a ton of money on that game, but somehow, some way, well, Wimbledon cost me a lot of money too. I broke even on the day, which I still can't fucking figure out for the life of me. I had France to hoist a couple. Oh, it was in-game. In-game betting. I got fucking, I got pinched. I took the over I, when it was six and a half in the 70th minute. That one hurt me a lot, actually. It was a good World Cup. And uh, you know what? Good news. It's not in four years. It's in two years. We got the Euro Cup. To me, it's the same thing. Really and truly. You get to see the best of the best on an on a international platform like that. Euro Cup, World Cup. Pretty much the same thing as far as I'm concerned. What else we got to talk about? Staying with Russia. The streakers. The girl band. The girl band. Pussy Riot. Has taken responsibility for that. For the streakers. Now if you know about Pussy Riots. I tweeted out the YouTube link to it earlier. Taylor Stevens knows about this clip. Now it's not funny. It's not a funny clip. Some might find it amusing. Okay. But this group, Pussy Riots, they hate Putin and the laws. I don't know enough to talk about it. They were told, do not demonstrate, do not protest at the Sochi Olympics. We're warning you once, twice. And with the Russian government, you really don't fuck around, do you? No, you don't. Regardless, they ignored the warnings. They even announced where they're going to tape this video and do their little PR stunt. Or protest depends what lens you're looking at it with at. Boy, do they get some shots. So they put on these masks and they start doing these dance moves, right? They start doing these dance moves, like these skating dance moves and shit. They get maced and they're still trying to sing. They can't even see because they got these fucking masks on for some fucking stupid reason. One shot with the billy bat, another shot, finally they start collapsing. But the girls have good work ethic. They have really good determination. 
Why? Because after the pepper spray and the one billy bat shot, there was, one of them was still dancing. She wouldn't go down. She wouldn't go down. But finally, they fell apart. Kind of like the Croatia Futures fell apart. Like a paper plane on a rainy day, if you know what I mean. So Pussy Rise takes responsibility for those streakers. A lot of people are up in arms in regards to uh, security and so on and so forth. I mean, yeah, I get that. But, I mean, it was three little kids. Or well, it looked like three small kids. Or three young, three young people, you know? I'm sure if they were older or a different ethnicity. Ethn there's that fucking word again. Ethnicity. Ethnicity. Fuck. It would have been a different story, but they saw maybe, you know, three three young people and they said, yeah, whatever. They didn't pay them too much mind. And at the end of the day, there wasn't really any violence, right? They're just streakers, so. So that was that. What else we got to talk about? Oh, yeah, staying with Russia. What happened after the game? Like I said, I was at a, I was at a bar, so I had to, like, sneak back, get back to the hospital. I didn't have to sneak back, I mean, fuck, it's not like I'm here against my will or something, or I have to be here or something, but I kind of felt like I got let go of prison and I had to sneak back in for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, I didn't see the after game ceremony and such, but so Putin, Croatia president girl and French president guy, they all walked on the field and it was raining, it was pouring, and only Putin had an umbrella? I mean, you're on the national fucking stage. You're, you're, you're the president of a country. Like, don't you have people, security? Don't you have people for that to take care of those accommodations? It might rain today. And we need to take an umbrella. The whole world is going to be watching. Like, you're not going from here to your car. You're walking on the football field, on the pitch, in the eyes of the whole wide fucking world. Like, get an umbrella. Why only Putin has an umbrella? Because he's smart. Kind of like the pen or the pencil. NASA, check this out. NASA spent millions of millions of dollars trying to invent a pen. How to get a pen to work in outer space or in the moon or something like that. Up there in the air. Astronomy, astrology, whatever the fuck. In space, okay? Let's just call it space. There's a lot of space up there. So NASA spends millions and millions of dollars trying to fucking get a pen to work up in outer space. You know what the Russians did? They used the fucking pencil. Genius, no? Barube, you got one of those pens? Now you got the pen or you got the pencil? Because I know there's a special pencil now. Barube. I'm talking to you, eh? Let's give him a second to type. He types with two fingers, I think. He does. I do. I didn't ask you for your uh, hand in marriage. I do. I do pen. All right, Barube. I do pen. Good. <laughs> you know how to use a pen. Good for you, Barube. Jesus. I can't even pronounce my words. Never mind pronounce what the fuck you guys are trying to say. So yeah, I'm still stuck in this hospital. I want to thank everyone for the best wishes. Also, I want to address something with uh, Sooner Lisa. Funny joke last week. I was out with Taylor and Gabe, and I got hit in the eye. Well, clo uh, okay, fine. I didn't really get hit in the eye with an ice cube. So the joke was, it was called Ice Gate, and apparently I got hit in the eye with the ice, so I drummed it up. And I went on to say how Sunday morning I had to go to the hospital right how I had to go to the hospital because I had an ice cube in my eye that night Sunday night or Monday Lisa hits me up and she says I heard <laughs> she says I heard you were in the hospital she goes I heard you're in the hospital I'm so sorry I heard what I kind of heard what happened I hope you feel better so I told her, I said, look, sooner, I said, thank you for your for your well wishes and all. But I said, no, it was all a joke. It's a joke. And she goes, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, blah, blah, blah. Fine. So lo and fucking behold, I kind of thought about it. It occurred to me a couple of days ago, but on all these pain meds and such. Yesterday in the chat, she says to me, sooner goes, 
So wait. <laughs> she goes, I'm hearing that you're in the hospital again. Now, this time, are you really in the hospital or what? I was fucking crying of laughter. Yes. Yes, Lisa Sooner. This time, I really am in the fucking hospital. How ironic is that? See what you got for lying, boys and girls? Well, it was a joke. It wasn't a lie. It was a joke. Sunday, I joked or I lied about going to the hospital because I got a piece of ice in my eye. And sure enough, not less than a few days later, I really end up in the fucking hospital. Yeah, karma got me, McGregory. Karma sure did get me. Anyways, I have a few early appointments. I have that MRI thing and I have that dick pic thing. Not that kind of dick pic. Not the kind of dick pic that Taylor Stevens uh, gets. Not a dick pic. It is a... Well, it kind of is a... It's an inside dick pic, I guess you can call it. An inside dick pic. Because they put that camera right in your pee hole. It hurts. I've had that procedure done, actually, about uh, 20 years ago when I was in the restaurant business. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't nice. As some people said, no, oh, don't worry about it. They put you to sleep. No, they don't put you to sleep. Oh, but they freeze that area. Listen, motherfucker. Listen, motherfucker. They can freeze that area with an igloo if they want. Okay? A man knows that area. Like, think about it. A man, we know that area. We know if something, it's like a fucking radar stick. It's a radar dick. We know if something's coming even near that fucking area. Freeze it. Freeze it all you want. You know when if they cut off, like if they cut off your finger, your finger still has senses in a sense. It's called phantom something. It's the same thing. If you were to chop off my dick, I would still sense a heart on. I think so. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, and I don't have patience. If I had patience, I would be a fucking doctor, right? Well, I'm in the right fucking place. My name is Sonny Vega. Enjoy your Sunday night. There's not much more action left. Summer league, probably one more game. So this is what I said. The same thing I said to uh, Shano. Listen, there's a couple of games left. Might as well bet it all, dude. Like, fuck. We're not going to really take it with, with us when we're gone. Look, I'm already half dead. I got one foot in the, in the grave already. I'm already at the fucking hospital, dude. And there's no more games. There's an all-star game, I think, fucking Tuesday, and that's it, right? So there's a couple of games tonight. I advise you guys. I advise you. You know what? Go hard. Bet it all. Go to the pawn shop. Do what you got to do. Just fucking bet it, guys. Why not? Have some fun. The World Cup. <laughs> the, what do you mean, Barube? Stop it. The World Cup is over. That's it. Fucking go. Take it all. Get the milk money. Fucking go fucking bet it. That's my advice. My name is Sonny Vega. Have a good night. Bunch of fucking knuckleheads.